I want to do one more thing before I test it is I want to update the the meta tags of this uh, website so we need to change this to little tip here the more you do for your client the better they rely on you so if you go in and you add your own keywords and description tags they will really appreciate that it's one extra thing that you've done for them that they did not need to do themselves let's update our description here to change is get on board to apply for an account so let's open up this page okay so here's our file because we have a PSD of this we can really easily change this to open okay. calling this page open an account but you can try adding in a slogan Is a good one. Diversify your portfolio with precious metals. Bump this up. I usually call my PSD files the same as the HTML or PHP file names. I got my PSD. Now when you save as for the web, try and optimize your images. You don't want to go over 50, 60K. Now let's replace this image with the one we just saved. I like to do it from the code. And and I replace this with a manual path. There we go. Now we're just going to upload our file. Okay, so we're missing something. In case you don't know, file names are case sensitive. So if you want somebody to not steal your images, add the capitals. I don't believe. So let's try this again. Yes, I did not call the capital N. And I already renamed it, so we're good. So now if we go in, it should work. Okay, so now if I were to test this, I get my pop-up and then when I click OK it does whatever it's supposed to do and it redirects me to the home page. Now I could leave this page as it is because it does work but if I wanted to make this better I would consider maybe adding a button for one of the extra widgets on the home page. Um, hmm. Let me just take a look at this. 
they have the two buttons right here. One's the cache interactive brochure and once the cache is guide. Little gimmicks like this are what convinces the user to go one step further on somebody's website. So given a link to this interactive brochure could actually be beneficial because this is a pretty uh, informative brochure for anybody who is interested in purchasing gold or silver with cache metals. So let's close this and let's get these two buttons from somewhere. So here are the two buttons. They are JPEGs, which means that I have to have the white background, otherwise I have to modify this. Now which one do we want? The guide will be much better. So here's our page once again. Now we gotta pick a spot where to paste it. We have, we have very little bit of room, so we could paste it around here somewhere. Let's try that. Oh. Maybe here in a corner, or right in here, since it's, uh, there's a lot of white space there. Uh, the problem with this is that there seems to be some sort of a... Uh, By creating a table, we've allowed ourselves the freedom of pasting something in here without modifying or screwing this section right here. Okay. Now, of course, you could use CSS and div text which we will eventually do but for now it is much faster to use tables to see exactly how it's going to end up okay you know what I think this will work now let's just try and align it I'm playing around with uh, align tags here. I mean, that's what I would send for a revision, and then if the client really liked it, then I would go one step further and maybe build in some sort of a tab here or make it blend in more into the page. But it works. So that's all we need. Again, to uh, get more tutorials. Visit ActiveTVNetworks.com, go to our article section, and you'll find all of our videos and all of the extra JavaScripts and whatnot under our video workshops and tutorial section. And signing off, Marshall McDowell from ActiveTV Networks.